I mean, the, the best thing is he has just a passion, which you can see in his words. Yeah. He wants to finish his masters. It's not just about getting registered. He wants to do masters, and then he wants to successfully get the permanent residency through Opera Pathway. So he's doing both. Yeah, yeah. I, I still remember 77 lectures with A, B, C, D in each lecture. So probably more than 90 lectures. 20 lectures. 20 plus 120. Like, yes, yes. Yeah, like, like that's too much, man. That's too much. Like none of, I, I personally, I know many of the other expertise and other of the training institutes who are providing this training. But I don't think so they could beat the mark of 150 with the continuous lecture. No, ma'am. You are the best. And so are the best. You are providing your time. I know you are working as a pharmacist in <laughs> hospital. Hospital pharmacist still finding out sometimes. So just like it's the best thing. It's best thing, ma'am. You are just helping. Other students, nothing else. It's not about uh, like uh, money, but I think it's just about your help. Just help me, to be, to be honest. Thank you so much for that. Oh my God, you made my day. And for be God. showing your willing interest to work in the pharmacy. Go knock every door to get a job, because it's not easy to get a pharmacy job. But if you get into the pharmacy, then it's very easy to get internship and to for the becoming as a registered pharmacist or provisional license, whatever you say. But that's true, ma'am. Or like many of them text me sometimes, like. Can, if you have some job, please let us know. I was like, yeah, if I do have an, I will love to help every late expertise students in future if they come to Canberra or if they want my guidance regarding the PR pathway in any ways to a regional Australia because I've got a bit of experience in that one. So I would like to help and I would love to help any of the late expertise students in future as well. That's amazing. Uh, hello guys, uh, this is Nina, that student of Elite Expertise, currently in Australia. Where are you in Australia, Nina? Uh, I'm currently in Canberra. Canberra, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, currently residing in Canberra, has cleared his opera in first attempt despite the busy schedule and Australian time zone differences and then I think I'm sure you must be working somewhere and... Uh, yeah, actually I'm working as a pharmacy student in Capital Chemist Group over here. Oh, that's good. You have, you're working full time? Uh, no, I'm a master's of pharmacy student over here, so yeah, I'm working as a part-time basis. Yes, yeah. yeah. So he's, he's been very busy actually, but still made it. Congratulations. Oh, thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much. Yeah, so he was, actually we wanted your interview. That's why I'm sitting here. It's 9.30 here in Canberra. Uh, yeah. No, in Melbourne it's 9.30. And How much same as in Canberra as well. Okay, same time zone. So. Okay, so well, tell us about yourself, Nina. Then, how did you like decide? Um, yeah, oh, yeah. Your, yeah, just talk about yourself. Yeah, okay, so my name is Nina Prajapati and I'm from Ahmedabad, Gujarat, basically from India. And I came in the Australia in the Feb 2024 for pursuing my master's of pharmacy over here in the University of Canberra. I have done my bachelor's of pharmacy back in India and I completed it in 2023 and after that i came over here i was like it was a bit very fast for me uh, to cope up with the masters of pharmacy speed over here because i was late being like visa delayed so stuff uh, but anyhow i joined it in feb and like it was very like very fast paced over here like three months of course and stuff so exams exam exams and finally one day what happened to me was i just came across the elite expertise advertisement on the youtube and I, I, I always want to try to like sit for an exam and just want to see where I stand because uh, at then Master of Pharmacy degree also going to be giving me the same opportunity as the opera is giving me. But I just give a try and just ma'am and sir, just their guidance and nothing else. Just just trust them, everyone. Just trust them and you will be fine with anything. Like be confident and have some trust in ma'am and sir. You will be fine with the opera, Not like any of the exam probably. <laughs> Congratulations, dear. So, how much time did you actually spend like in the preparation? Uh, like, uh, so to be honest, uh, as it's the results are out, uh, like I used to have the five day classes, and after that, I used to manage my job. And at the night time, when I get some time, like probably one or one and a half hour, like I try to revise all the lectures because I wasn't able to attend it live. So, I always look at the recordings on the day after of the lecture. But anyhow, like most of them was collagy is my weak part. So I focus more on the collagy and the calculations from the map are the best because I'm always worried about the maths. But it was very easy, ma'am, to be honest, in opera exam as well. Everything came from your mocks only, the revision <coughs> mocks that you have given us to us. So everything was from mocks, so easy for us. 
and the one more thing i would like to mention over here is that arif sir's last lectures of highlighting everything on the clinical therapeutics focusing more on the antipsychotics and all that stuffs that actually help in the opera exam because most of the stuff was from antipsychotics and all the antidepressants because they are much like i think that they are very much focused over here in australia as most of the medications have been prescribed accordingly so that was very much in focus so yeah everything was very easy because you have you like you have provided all the information that we should be having congratulations actually um so like you know simulated mocks focusing on the most important problems in australia like mental health and then we've got cardiovascular issues and then that's everywhere in the world and then we've got uh, i think therapy with antibiotics and all that yeah. i think those really are the focus areas for the exam and that's why he's successful that's what he's meaning <laughs> congratulations and uh, with the calculations also is like you know there's a good practice involved and you know, the more calculations you practice the better you get with math so that's true that's true and ma'am your every lectures your every lectures your your slides every slides from allegation allegation method was the toughest for me because it's always confusing you're a cross multiply and then you're going to stare at what you're going to do now yeah. so it was very easy being practicing in front of you and it's like it's always being a uh, very helpful in the pharmacy practice as well cause in most of the situation in the australian we see the suspension solution sure. and being a pharmacy student it's also some of the time my responsibility to, to calculate the dosage if it's if i'm on the dispense so it's also very helpful for me in that way as well so everything is just correlated it's everything is correlated in any way yeah congratulations actually <laughs> i'm saying this a multiple times i think you should start your internship uh so uh, like i'm fortunate enough that i don't have to find my internship because i already I, i was already being offered my internship from that's my school yeah congratulations touch wood touch wood everything yeah, goes well good. <laughs> let's not talk about it more so, yeah. yeah even even my pharmacy was very much happy to have me as an like intern pharmacy in term, yes yeah the exam but uh, i'm focusing more on my masters now it's just yeah. a part of like i've just done it but i would focus more on my masters of pharmacy course and i would be probably starting it by the next one like the next january when the next year starts so i would be focusing more on that one but in context with the pr pathway cause everyone would be interested in knowing that how pr pathway works after the intern pharmacy who is study like who is in the australia so i would like to suggest that if you are in australia and if you are working in a pharmacy it is easy to get pr at the point of 75 on in any of the states mo- mo- like most of the states goes with the 75 uh, like i'm in canberra so if i talk with the canberra situation and as well as in the regional australia it's always easy to get pr on the basis of the intern pharmacy exam and you can easily apply for the state nomination and then you can apply for 491 or 190 whatever suits uh, whatever c- category you have falls in so like it would be easy if the exam is easy the pr is easy just like i would like to say just start doing it cuz mam what i personally found was many of the students were very much like very much not confident basically and they were stressed out like oh my goodness now it's caps is over what about opera but if you have done it it would be very much easier for you and i think that the first paper would be easier than the rest up coming one but i think that everyone was just after that some key points some notes and some recalls but everything was fine ma'am everything was fine nothing like nothing rocket science to be honest yeah because it's because you've got massive practice that's it. Yeah exactly but I, yeah. I still remember 77 lectures with a b c d in each lecture so probably more than 90 lectures 20 lectures 90 plus 120 and like yes, yes. yeah like like that's too much ma'am that's too much like none of i i personally i know many of the other expertise and other of the training institute who are providing this training but i don't think so they could beat the mark of 150 with the continuous lecture no ma'am you are the best and sir are the best you are providing your time i know you are working as a pharmacist in <laughs> hospital hospital pharmacy still finding out some time so just like it's a best thing it's best thing ma'am you are just helping other students nothing else it's not about uh, like uh, money but i think it's just about your help just help me ma'am to be to be honest thank you so and, much for that oh my god you made my day and for god I really forgot all that those lectures and everything, but you were just like nostalgically reminding me everything. Oh my God! Thank you. It was just a beautiful interview. Um, thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. And you got much. so naturally the words right for us. Thank you so much, Nenad. And uh, actually, you should actually. I mean, the the best thing is he has just a passion, which you can see in his words. 
Yeah. He wants to finish his masters. It's not just about getting registered. He wants to do masters, and then he wants to successfully get the permanent residency through Opera Pathway. So he's doing both. Yeah. Uh, and and yeah. to be honest, to be honest, what I personally found out was it. It's never all about the PR pathway. It's all about your passion towards working mm-hmm. as a pharmacist in Australia. Because, like, I have many of the friends who are who are living in Melbourne, Sydney, and any of the other states. They are finding it difficult to get a pharmacy job. But what I would like to suggest to everyone is just be passionate, be showing your willing interest to work in a pharmacy. Go knock every door to get a job. Because it's not easy to get a pharmacy job. But if you get into the pharmacy, then it's very easy to get internship and to for the. becoming as an registered pharmacist or provisional license whatever you say but that's true ma'am or like many of them text me sometimes like can if you have some job please let us know i was like yeah if i do have and i will love to help every elite expertise students in future if they come to kendra or if they want my guidance regarding the pr pathway in any ways to a regional australia cause i've got bit experience in that one so i would like to help and i would love to help any of the elite expertise students in future as well it's amazing and i think canberra matrix is a bit tricky so rina is ready to deal with that if if to be honest if someone comes in canberra i'm I'm like definitely help to guide you and like today only one of my senior from my previous institute I used to study bachelor's he texted me I was like hi I was like I was just like it's other elite student and he was like oh do you remember me I was like no I'm your senior at the XYZ I was like oh man how are you and it's like oh you killed it so nice I was like oh that's how you can connect each other in the world so like the australia is yeah. very small to be honest and elite yeah, <laughs> platform for every pharmacy student who is coming on it you can just meet each other everywhere yeah that's so cool so i've got actually two interns one pharmacist now and the other was no that two are pharmacists now they were actually elite expertise students who got pr through canberra matrix and oh, now wow. yeah yeah so. that's true and i might be the third one and i would like to <laughs> rejoin the intern classes so yeah, sure. the, yeah, for the next attempt oh my yeah. god you're so sweet <laughs> thank you so much for all the kind words thank, thank you, you so, so much, much ma'am it's thank all you. about just convey my thanks to arif sir as well oh sure thank you so much thank, thank you, so you much, dear thank have you have a nice day. yeah have a nice day. thank you bye bye